This is the DJI Avada, which I think is an almost perfect DJI FPV drone. Recently I have made many videos about the DJI Avada and how good of a drone it is. Also recently I've taken it on a trip to Lanzarote, one of the Canary Islands, and I thought, you know what, let's take the Avada, I really love how it flies, you know, the picture quality, the setup, everything is just so convenient and good, why not take it with me to Lanzarote instead of the DJI FPV with the GoPro? It's gonna be lighter, easier, just overall better, and I love the way it flies. And while this drone is amazing in my opinion for the usage of, like for example here in Poland, where the winds aren't as strong and the open spaces, it's really good. I really like it and I really like the way it flies, the connection is amazing. And just to make sure you know, I'm talking about the Goggles V2, I did actually prefer the V2 over the Goggles 2. The reason for that is those fit me a little bit better, so I see better than on the Goggles 2, even though the screen there is better. Well. I prefer this one, so I'm using it in this combo, just so you know. You see, the thing is, this drone, while being small and being very portable and, you know, easy to carry around, no GoPro to play around with, what you see, that is what you record. Even with the ND filters, you can get very beautiful picture profile. Remember, this can record in decent alike footage with 4K 60 frames per second and stabilization in post with gyrofall. So the footage looks good. The problem is, how good is gonna be the footage if you don't fly? This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. If you're looking for music for your videos, Epidemic Sound has a great deal for Black Friday. And before we go to the deal, what is Epidemic Sound? It's a service where you can find copyright free music for your videos on YouTube. And Epidemic Sound has been with this channel from the very beginning. At first, I was a paying subscriber, and later, I was able to fund the Epidemic Sound subscription through the referral program, and from there, I became an ambassador for Epidemic Sound. So what is the deal with the Black Friday for Epidemic Sound? Well, normally you can get a 30 days free trial, but for Black Friday, if you'll check out the link down below, you can actually get not only the 30 days free trial, but also another extra month for free. Thanks to this, you have two months of Epidemic Sound for your usage and everything you post when you have the trial from Epidemic Sound is cleared forever. So if you want to learn more about Epidemic Sound, check out the link down below. And with that being said, let's go back to the video. See, the thing is, well, this is a perfect drone for a scenario where there's not too much wind, you can get really close to the subject, to the ground, really just feels better, safer, and also more nimble. If there is a little bit of wind, the DJI Vada is not gonna be as good as something like a DJI FPV. I have flown the DJI FPV on Canary Islands before, and it can just brute force through pretty much any winds you throw it at. Well, this, even with slight winds, is gonna have a problem. So it's a very kind of a niche situation where it's just more convenient, but isn't as good in a windy situation where the DJI FPV is much stronger, but it's also much heavier. So you're gonna have to sacrifice either one of those. And I feel like both those drones are now gonna have a different use case fit scenario for me, where I want to use this one more on like here in Poland and FPV in more like the island style of a video where I just want a little bit more strength and you know be safe that I know I can just fly and return where this doesn't cut it. And that is the reason I think this is an almost perfect FPV drone because it flies better in my opinion. You also have more flight time, you don't have to have a GoPro on top, the quality is really amazing with the ND filters, you can record in 4K 60 frames per second in decent alike, which is great for post-production. And also, you can actually stabilize it with gyro flow for amazing stabilization post. Overall, like this drone can do it all except when the wind comes. In that moment, it becomes harder to fly and also just not as stable. And you're gonna be afraid of if you can actually push through the wind, if you can even start. Sometimes you won't even start because you know it's not gonna be good for flying. And with the problem with the drone flipping over, you might be afraid that the wind might push it even harder so it's easier for you to flip. Overall, this makes it so it's a very bad situation where you kind of feel like this is better set up, easier to get around with, but also is just not convenient because you cannot fly in some places. So it's like a trade-off. Which one would you rather have? Any footage or no footage? You know, getting a big backpack and just having to have everything with you or a light setup. It's like really hard to, you know, find the perfect spot because this 
on a nice day can do everything right. But if there's a little bit of wind, suddenly you have no drone, pretty much. Something I wanted to update because I made a couple of videos about the DJI Vada recently. And while I still love the drone and I know that I'm gonna use it a lot, I just don't feel like I'm gonna take it to that kind of adventures where I just need a little bit more strength. So overall, this drone is still, in my opinion, one of the best drones you can get, especially for starters. The footage is gonna be great, but if you're gonna use it specifically for outdoors and harder environments, this might not be it. You have to consider where you're gonna use it and how you're gonna use it. That is gonna be the difference between loving this drone or hating it, using it or not using it. And because of that trip, I now know that sometimes I'm gonna have to carry a little bit bigger of a drone for that case scenario. And also this one is gonna stay with me because I love flying with it, but in a different way, in a different place, different time. Overall, I can still highly recommend this drone. It's just that it's a little bit different, a little bit different kind of a flight experience and for different occasion. And with that being said, it's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you next time.